Hi, today we're going to be building a website prototype for this sticky menu using a show. As you can see, as you scroll down, the menu sticks to the very top, but initially in the design isn't actually located at the top of the page, which makes this a little tricky. Okay, let's do it. Initially, my draw file has a few buttons at the top with a background and some dummy content at the bottom of the page just so we can scroll down. If you go ahead and preview this page in the browser, it doesn't do much. If you start scrolling up, as you can see, the menu hides. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is go back to the show file, select all of the buttons and the background, right click and convert the selection to dynamic panel. Let's go ahead and name it menu and just underneath click into browser. Select Pin to Browser window, left, top, and click OK. If you go back to Browser and reload the page, you'll notice that now what we've done is created an actual sticky header that sticks at the top and doesn't hide as you scroll down. So that's pretty simple, but it gets a little bit more complicated if you want something sitting above your menu to scroll up, but the menu bar to stop once it hits the top of the browser. So what we're going to do now is select everything by pressing Command A, move it all down 200 pixels, insert something above it like a box, stick it to the very top in the very left corner, make it 1200 and 200 pixels high. You can stick something above it as well, it can be your logo, your header, whatever. If you now go back to the browser, reload the page, and try scrolling up, you'll notice that the menu just sticks to the same spot, and that's really not what we're trying to achieve here. To work around that, we're going to have to use a couple of Azure tricks. If you just go back to the prototype, duplicate your menu by selecting it and pressing Command D, move the duplicate to the very top, and hide it by checking the box that says hidden. Now select your old menu. Go back to Pin to Browser and untick the box in the box that says Pin to Browser window. Now we have to tell Azure to unhide the hidden menu when we scroll past a certain point. Click on an empty space of the prototype and double click on Window Scroll on the right. Press the Add Condition button. From the drop down menu, select Value and in the text box, type two open square brackets, window.scroll Y. Close the square, bra square brackets. Select is greater than, select value, and type in 200 because as you can remember, the header above a menu is 200 pixels high. Click OK. Click show hide from the actions list on the left and select menu from the widget list. Click OK. To avoid confusion, select your hidden menu and rename it to menu underscore sticky. If you click off it, you'll see that Azure is smart enough to recognize it and change the name under your actions. Now if you go back to your browser, reload the page and scroll down, you'll notice the hidden menu appears once you scroll past your header. But if you scroll back down, you'll see it stays stuck to the top of the browser. Let's go back to the prototype and tell Azure sure to hide it once the original menu is in view. Double click on on scroll window again, add condition, from the drop down select value, in the text box type in open brackets window dot scroll y again, close brackets. From the drop down, now select is less than, key value, and type in 200. Click OK. Select show hide. Select menu underscore sticky from the widget list. And make sure that you select hide at the bottom and press OK. If you go back to the browser window, reload your page. And try scrolling down. Scrolling up. There it is. You can see a little bit of a flicker of the menu becoming visible as you scroll down. So what we're going to do is fix that by adding a little delay and animation to our prototype. We're going to be telling you to show the hidden menu a little bit later than before and make it slide down from the top. Double click case one, edit condition, change 200 to 260, click OK. Select show menu sticky in the actions list 
and at the bottom you will see an anime drop down with a bunch of animations. Good fade, slide up, slide down, um, we'll go slide down, point to OK, click OK, go back to your browser, reload the page and try, and try scrolling down. Here we are, perfect. We have a smooth transition of the menu sliding down as you scroll down and it goes back to its original place as you scroll back up. Hope all of that was clear and let me know if you have any questions or suggestions.